All right, we're gonna give it a whack to try and adjust this correctly. Um, this is the clutch actuator. That's your transmission. Inside here, there's a there's a lever that has to get pushed to pull the clutch out so that it can make the gear change and put the clutch back in. So I was having a problem with I think this was too far out. So this this lever when it, when the plunger goes inside of the inside the it wasn't pushing the clutch all the way out where it needed to be. So it wasn't it was just crappy. I wasn't getting a whole lot of torque. So I set it up just by hand. The manual says you have to like make it touch and then you got to get the three lines. I don't see, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I don't see where the three lines are at. I don't see any three lines anywhere. So I'm just going to mark, I got a fine, fine point marker. I'm going to mark where the bolt is, right? And this is like my new, this is where the car's running pretty good. Right, that's uh, probably not that great. Let me get, let me get a different marker. All right, so we're gonna grab this better marker here. And my new line is roughly about here. Right. So that's pretty much in line with the bolt. Same thing over here. This moved over about an eighth of an inch, I'm gonna say. So this is my current line. This is the line that actually works. I think works with the car. Um, yeah. This is the the first line. This is this first line is where it was, where it, was, it wasn't shifting right. Then I moved it in to this line, and that seems to be working pretty better, a lot better. So let's try and mark this guy here, and that's where the new mark is at. That's, this is the mark that seems to be working for me at the moment. But all right, so I can't find any information. And everybody's uh, I don't know, whatever. So. I was reading in the, um, the uh, what do you call it, the um, Evolution Forum, and the guy from Evolution says that for the 450 and the 451 that we have to put 50 Newton meters, not new, I'm sorry, 50 Newton, 50 Newtons of force, which is about, if you do the conversion, I think it's like 11 pounds. So you have to grab it from this side, and on his website, he has like a little, there's like a bracket that you have to make. And then you 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 pull it back 50 newtons of force about 11, 11 pounds then you bolt these up that's what he's saying he's been around a block for you know he knows a lot about these cars he's been around a block so i'm gonna just say he knows what he's talking about so i'm gonna try it but i got different different um information so the information like i said i the information i pulled up on the on the smart for the 451 they're talking about lines i'm thinking they're talking about these little notches here but they're on this side they're not on that side so you really you know when i put it in there i just did it by you know just by feel just okay great but you're not supposed to fix cars on feel you're supposed to have like numbers you know accurate numbers so i'm gonna go this route i'll let you guys know how it works out it is all right so i have um i didn't have a chance to make the whole bracket but i put this um wood whatever you call it so it helps it slide in and out i got the uh the scale i'm gonna fucking i'm gonna um, right there's about 15 50 newton meters right there if you look at the bolts they're pretty much like where my marks are just slightly just slightly whatsoever inward so i kind of had it just right i'm a maverick like that so that's 50 newton newton force Right, 52, 50 right there. So we're looking at, it's pretty much like right where my marks are at. So I'm gonna tighten these down, which I'm gonna pat myself in the back that I got it without even using a scale, but I don't wanna guess at this stuff. So there's 50, uh, 50, okay, right there. Let's tighten this up. Ah. 60 right there 50 right there 54 okay all right so we're gonna tighten it up right there it's roughly about 50 okay all right let's get the one over here let me turn this off or blind the blind you people actually you know, I'll show you guys there's one back over here as you can tell if my camera's actually getting it, but I 
Okay, you don't gotta kill it, but it's gotta be tight. All right, so where are we at in comparison to the old Mark? Let's take a look, we're right on the money. I mean, like this, this Mark is with that Mark. So I had got it just right, right? Second guessing myself, but um, yeah, it's 50, 50 newtons of force. So if you, the, the manual says like, you know, put it in there and once you feel it, go in three, three, three lines. There really is no three lines there, but um, you really, cause as your, as your clutch will start to wear thin, this has to, this has to either work further or, or lesser, you know? So this has to be um, calibrated correctly as far as mechanically wise, it's gotta be up against there and then you gotta do the clutch relearn so that, um, you know, the, the, the pressure's just right, now the clutch is gonna go, okay, th this is how much pressure I have, this is first, second, third, fourth, right, whatever. And then, um, and then the car knows how to shift. But uh, initially, I had like no torque. And like first, it was just really doggish to get off the line. And then I was going off the marks that the previous owner had or whatever, but it, it wasn't right. Cause it was, I think the clutch wasn't going in further enough to disengage it. Cause once I set this up and I did the clutch relearn, I got a bunch of torque. Like it just, it growls. My car like growls at me now, you know, it, it wants to go. So uh, this is pretty cool, that's done. Took all the myth out of it, the 50 Newton, uh, I don't wanna say Newton meters, I think uh, Newton, I, 50 Newtons of force, if you go on Google, it's like 11, 11 pounds. And then this thing measures 11 pounds as well. So you can do Newtons, pounds, or kilograms. But uh, I didn't, I didn't wanna like be guessing at it. So I got it just to the 50 and that seems to work. And like I said, if your car is like, if you want to get the optimal performance, this, it feels like a little race car. You know, it feels like a, when the people say go-kart, it feels like a go-kart now. It's like, it, it goes, right? For what it is. Um, but like I'm saying is, um, if you have a car and you want to make sure it's, you know, it's optimal and everything's working at 100, you have to make sure that this is, um, this is adjusted correctly and you need the 50 Newton meters. I'm, I'm probably going to make the bracket for that. It's a bracket that goes around here like that and it grabs the back side of it and has like a little little hook that you can mount, you can hook this thing to. And then you just get like a ratchet strap and just like, you know, just pull it back slowly, slowly until you hit the 50 and once there, lock it down. But um, yeah, so anyways, uh, we got that settled. Also, another thing, I hit a bump and this thing came flying down. This is like the wind guard. And I think the previous owner must've hit something or, or he changed the lights over here, the fog lights and he never put the screw in, so that's missing. So I gotta figure out how to make a bracket so I get the screw in there, because I don't want this thing coming down. I mean, I might get a new one, I'm not quite sure. I don't want air going in through there, because this is all aerodynamic. As you're going down a road, it helps you with, uh, get, get, you gotta get the most out of it. So this prevents, this keeps all the air, you know, from getting caught up in there and slowing you down more, better fuel mileage, etc. Anyways, all right, so we're gonna, Lower the car, then we're gonna do a clutch relearn, and this should be done for this little project. Um, there you go.